Really good question. The robocall issue is, is still primarily uh, being investigated by Elections Canada. Speaking of budgets, in 2012, Elections Canada had a $7 million cut in its budget. And it never really had a forensic investigation unit looking effectively at election fraud. So I'm very, very uh, concerned. Um, I've been demanding a Royal Commission inquiry to look into the robocalls issue. Uh, where we are, where you can have a, a glimmer of hope again, is the Council of Canadians. Uh, the Council of Canadians challenge to seven ridings. I think I'm pretty certain there's not really a realistic prospect that's going to open that the court decisions will overturn the results in those elections. Uh, the but the, the lawyer for the Council of Canadians is someone I happened to have quoted earlier, because I think he's so brilliant, Stephen Schreibman, who was one I mentioned who said that investor state agreements were corrosive of democracy. Um, saw him over the, uh, the Christmas holiday period, and he's feeling rel cautiously optimistic that the court case that they brought will result, at least, you know, fingers crossed and toes crossed, and you know, in a finding that he that he thinks he bent the burden of proof for a finding that the Conservative Party was responsible for efforts to defraud people of their vote. Now that finding alone, even if it doesn't lead to overturning the election results, will, I think, potentially protect us from more of that kind of thing in the next election. And then it also may spur on, on the other side of the equation, what Elections Canada is doing. There are two reporters doing a very good job tracking this stuff. If it wasn't for them, I don't think we'd know, wouldn't have ever heard about Pierre Poutine and what was really going on in Guelph. And that's uh, Steve Marr and uh, Glenn McGregor, both of whom actually ironically work for Post Media, which is the residual of what was uh, Conrad Block's huge block of but the 42 papers across Canada are Post Media. So all of those papers carry the story, and it's one of the rare. The whole problem of journalism in Canada is be another whole rant, but basically very, very few reporters are given any rope or budget to stick to one story. And the new management at Post Media is clearly giving these two reporters the money and the time to actually do a good job. So that's a bit of a break, because if it's just, it, Elections Canada on its own isn't going to get anywhere, I don't think. Uh, and the Council of Canadians on its own isn't going to get results overturned. But there is a steady amount of effort, uh, and, and I'm sure a lot of you are supporting it. Uh, we, we do want to get to the bottom of it. Right now, of course, I take the position until her, I hear otherwise, I've not accused anybody for being responsible. And to say, look, this was an effort to defraud voters, and every single phone call to any voter pretending to be Elections Canada was an illegal act. Whether it made someone stay home or not, it was illegal to try to make those calls. So we ought to be getting to the bottom of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that, I'm 